how much time do you spend working on yourself? In an average day, how much time do you spend being consciously aware of your behavior, of your thoughts, of your actions? Do you realize actually how important it is and how just doing these simple little things is going to affect your external world in every single form? Stay tuned because I'm going to share that with you and so much more on today's episode of Going Deeper. So welcome. Welcome to today's episode of Going Deeper with John Morris. Join the show that tackles the topics that many around the world struggle with on a day-to-day -day basis. From mental and physical health to emotional and spiritual well-being. But that's not all. John also shares his teaching on more focused topics such as anxiety, self-image, gaining employment, the importance of educating oneself, developing a deeper spiritual connection, mental and physical well-being, and so much more. Want to be the best you can be? You're in the right place. And now please welcome Mind, Body and Soul's very own John Morris. Well, hey folks, and welcome to another exciting episode of Going Deeper. I am your host, Joe Morris, and welcome to the show that's designed to get you from where you are to where you want to be with step-by-step -step guidance. As always, don't forget, I never teach on anything that I haven't got first-hand experience in, and with that in mind, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Tell a friend, because it could be the very thing that they need in their hour of struggle to help them get from where they are to where they want to be. So now that we've got that out of the way, I want to talk today about a little story that, that I heard recently and I thoroughly loved, really connected with, and it's called The Roots Versus The Fruits. So many times in, in our modern world, people are so focused on looking good and, and presenting this almost false self, this amazing ability on social media in the, in the world and whatever it might be. Social media, by the way, is the world in where you can create yourself whatever way you want to be. If you want to be a superhero, you can literally create yourself in that way and you can project that into the world. If you want to be a phenomenal artist, you can be known for that. If you want to be an author, a writer, a speaker, whatever it might be, you can be all of those things. However, there is still one big key issue that always gets overlooked in the, in the perfection world that is social media, and that is you and me, but more importantly, you. Because what happens is I can sit there and I can make you believe that I am as happy and as confident and as amazing and as all these things, um, and I am now, but at one point I certainly wasn't. Um, you know, as, as I want, I can convince you about all of these different things. But for many people around the world, the reality is they can put out a, a, a persona into the world when their real life is crumbling and they're struggling. So it got my attention, this story did, with the whole thing of the roots and the fruits. Like I said, so many times people walking about outside, they're, they're paying more attention to the external, what they can see, touch, feel, hear and smell and taste and all that kind of stuff. Then they are paying attention to what's going on inside. You know, Sankaru talks about uh, inner engineering, okay? And that is the roots. And the analogy that I heard was this, you know, you have gotta pay more attention to what's under the soil to get the beauty of what's above the soil. What's under the soil is gonna be indication of what's going on above, you know? Or what's going on above is gonna be indication of what's going on below. So it's really important that you begin, if you haven't already, to focus on your root, focus on your source. You know, people are going to work all the time, you know, feeling miserable, trying to do a job in social care or health care or mental health professionals, and they are struggling, they are falling apart. There's so many areas that's going on right now, oftentimes because they've never ever sat and said, Okay, maybe I just need some time for myself. Maybe I need to, to deal with me because if I can't be the best professional that I can be, the, re the reason usually is because of stuff that's going on inside me. If I haven't developed something that I want to, it's oftentimes because I haven't developed it within me. You're only gonna put out there what you have internally. That's why I study so much, that's why I listen to so many audio books. And that is why I find that if I don't do, I call it my mental medication, but if I don't take on board that positivity, that energy, that, that feeling, and I listen to the, the nonsensical low energy, um, you know, people that surround, you know, oftentimes, 
you can end up just sitting there being like, oh my goodness, this is terrible, this is, you know, this really is, maybe I'm all in my head, and, and you become like them, you become what you surround yourself with, and obviously, what you surround yourself with, the chances are, is what you're going to think. So it's really, really important that you take charge of yourself and you start to examine and say, how am I doing? If you haven't seen the traffic light system already that we used in anxiety and we've used in the worry uh, episodes, check it out. You can get it. It's a free download. Uh, you can get it at thebattlesweallface.com. Really, really awesome download, by the way, because it helps you see clearly each individual, you know, kind of traffic light basically when, when you're feeling good you're feeling good you're feeling energetic you're feeling passionate you're going to be on green when you're feeling slightly tired slightly in pain slightly frustrated you're going to be on amber when you're feeling really frustrated really hacked off ready to snap and shout and ball everything you're at red but there's one more and it's brown because brown we discovered can be used for meltdown you know because it's when you 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 know you you severely it's the severely stuff. It's you're severely angry, severely hacked off. You're ready to drive over somebody and, you know, you're ready to go and, I don't know, shit the neighbor's kids or wh whatever it might be. You know, that's what happens when you are more focused on presenting this beautiful appearance as opposed to actually having a deep, beautiful appearance inside and knowing inside yourself and developing your own boundaries, developing your own constitutions, your own focus. And it is so important. And guess what? Only you can actually develop this. No one else can do it for you. you. And it's not too difficult to do. You know, oftentimes you just need to sit and you just need to listen. And people say, oh, well, I get bored. It's not what you're choosing. You are choosing to be bored. You are telling me when, you, when you're saying I get bored, you're sitting there. You're choosing then to tell me that you would be rather watching TV or you'd rather be watching, you know, you'd rather be out and about with friends, getting into low energy stuff, drinking and smoking pop and doing whatever. By the way, that's something that a lot of people do um, or, or on social media or whatever it might be because it, again, it fills the void, it fills your activity, but it doesn't actually help you in any way because you just end up sailing through and just going through this very low energy stuff when you know internally that you're not all that you could be. You haven't developed all you could be. Why then, before we, before we wrap up, a question came to me there that I think is really important to answer. Why are so many people fearful of spending time by themselves? And one of the most common answers that I get, especially from teenagers is because they don't want to how can I phrase this? They, they don't want to spend time by themselves because it means they have to face the reality of themselves. You know, the fact they don't like themselves, the fact that they hate the way they look, the fact that, and hate is one of the most common words, by the way, that teenagers will use any time that I've coached. Um, you know, the, the fact that they, you know, that their mindset, that they're, they're so screwed up and they're so this, they're so that, the other. And every single one of them I said, well, do you think it's gonna get any better by just ignoring it. And uh, the majority of them would say no. I said, right, okay. And I said, well, well let's, let's develop this a little bit further, shall we? Is it any wonder why there is a record number of highs for teenagers that are dealing with some form of mental illness, whether it be depression, whether it be anxiety, whether it be whatever. The, the list is as long as my arm um, and longer you know, of all the things that teenagers are going through and facing right now, oftentimes because of what they're listening to, because they're not being taught how to do this inner engineering, they're not taught to take time for themselves, they're taught basically to fill their lives with as much activity as possible, which is one of the dumbest things that possibly could happen. Why? Because the parents don't know any better. If they knew better, they would do better. It's as simple as that. So we can't judge anybody, and it's very dangerous to judge anybody, so we don't. But when you start working with teenagers and saying to them, I want you to, to you know, explore right now. And I, and I do this with adults and parents and things. But I want you to explore right now why you feel the way you do. And they say, oh, well, I always have. I said, no, that's, that's not true. You didn't come out of the womb, you know, feeling anxious or hating yourself. The chances are that you feel that way because you're comparing yourself to someone else. You are, you know, basically trying to be somebody else 
rather than trying to be the incredible person that you are, you know, you, you've grown up in a household perhaps where, you know, maybe your family life hasn't been that good and you've been told over and over and over again, you're no good, you're worthless, you need to, you know, get a good stern grip of reality and, and all of these nasty low energy things that fill our worlds right now. People don't know how hurtful and how powerful their words are. So my advice when you're in this situation is try and distance yourself from it as much as possible. Remember, you control what you allow on board. You control what you allow to be said about you. People may say things about you, but it doesn't mean you have to accept them. I had someone the other day telling me I was a, a, motor, mouth, um, a motor mouth art businessman or something like that. And I just said, well, thank you very much. That's your perspective. Me, I'm energetic and excited and passionate about what I teach and about what I do. That doesn't mean I'm motor mouth and, and all of that kind of stuff, but that was that person's perception. And that's okay, I don't care. <laughs> it doesn't affect me, it's just what he is. And that reflects him more than it reflects me. Remember, judgments reflect the person judging more than they reflect the person who is being judged. And it reveals them. So. If I could give you any, you know, comfort, any advice at all, it would be make sure you pay attention to your root. Make sure that you pay attention to your inner core, your inner engineering. There's a lot that we want to say about this. Um, and again, it comes under the, the mindset. And that's why I was asked the other day, actually, why do I do so much teaching on mindset simple? Because your mind is the very, very point of source that everything else happens. You know, it's the very point of source that will indicate your job opportunities, your relationships, your finances, your business ideas, your passions, your progressions, all of that kind of stuff. It all comes from a thought. Okay, there is nothing that has been created that didn't come from a thought. There's nothing that will be created that won't come from a thought. And it's very, very, very important that you not only recognize that and realize that, but realize then how important it is to get control of your mind. So I hope that helps you today. If it did, leave me a comment in the section below. Let me know if there's any topics that you'd like me to cover. And uh, yeah, I think we're good. As always, come and visit us at thebattlesweallface.com. If you are interested in coaching, um, we do still have spots for one-on-one -on -one coaching. And of course, our group coaching is wide open for teenagers and for adults. You can check out more about that on thebattlesweallface.com or on patreon.com forward slash mind, body and soul. You can get in touch with us there. And uh, if there's anything we do to help, you know, we would love to hear from you. Aside from that, have a phenomenal day, guys. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Tell a friend because it could be the very thing that they need to hear in their hour of struggle. And I'll see you same time, same place next week for Going Deeper. Take care. Do you, your son or daughter, struggle with direction, clarity and purpose? Maybe you struggle with anxiety. Maybe you struggle with self-esteem or confidence issues. Maybe you've got great ideas, but you've no idea how to get from where you are to where you want to be. Don't worry, you're not alone. People around the world struggle with these issues. Hi there, I'm John Morris. I'm the coach to the creative mind and I'm also a psychologist in training. For the last two decades, I've worked with people from all walks of life and all over the world, all with a wide variety of issues. I've worked with people from youth groups to adult education to people dealing with day-to-day -day living issues. And each one of them has an amazing story to tell and we've helped them get clear as to where they are and clear as to where they want to be. And I want to help you too. Like a lot of life coaches and therapists that like to drag things on and leave you dangling on the carrot, I want to make sure that each and every single time that we meet and have a life coaching session together, that you never ever leave saying, man, that was a waste of time, or I didn't get the value that I desired. I am committed to making sure that each and every single time we meet, you are one step closer by the time we finish to a goal that you have in mind. So why should you work with me? Well, let me tell you, as I said, I'm committed to making sure that I provide value, that I provide something that's step by step and easy to follow. I'm also a fantastic listener. I've been blessed with the gift of listening and I love to listen to people, their stories, their, their dreams, their desires, because there's nothing more energetic and passionate to me than when a client gets their first desire or they get that goal or they hit that big target or whatever it might be. And also, as a trifecta, I am committed to you to helping you take action. So whether or not it be deciding on the university you want to go to, deciding on the course that you want to be at, helping you get excited and passionate about your work environment, whatever it might be, 
I am committed to helping that happen. I'm also committed, if you need to shed some pounds, if you need to gain some muscle mass, if you need to, I don't know, develop your self-esteem, I'm committed to helping you take action and following a step-by-step -step plan of action that we can put together. But now, folks, I want to tell you about the Early Bird Special Offer that we are launching right now. It is for 10 people and 10 people alone. That's right, if you are interested in having life coaching sessions with me one-on-one, -on -one, 10 people have the opportunity to do that and we're looking to help these people change their lives completely. We take ages 14 and upwards, so if you're interested in learning how to get from where you are to where you want to be, to really develop that passion, to live a life that you enjoy as opposed to a life that you wake up and think, ah, oh, you know, how to develop and change your mindset from maybe a negative one to a positive one, understanding what fuels your mindset and understanding what creates the kind of life that you want to live, then get in touch with me today I would love to hear from you as I say this is open only for 10 people and once it's done it's done so click that box below get in touch let's have a conversation backwards and forwards and see if we're a fit for each other and I look forward to working with you have an amazing day folks take care God bless and I will see you soon